Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. We would like to demonstrate for you now the mixing of a very low strength zinc oxide eugenol temporary cementing material. The material which we would like to mix for you is under the trade name of Ward's 10-pack cement. It comes as a powder and with an alternative of two liquids. The powder is basically a zinc oxide uh, powder and the material in its uh, normal form is a pink liquid which makes the mixed cement very easily detected against the white cavity walls uh, of the preparation into which it's inserted. On the other hand, in areas where, uh, in anterior areas where aesthetics are of prime importance, it also comes with an alternative colorless uh, liquid. In order to dispense the material and get an adequate powder liquid relationship, we'll use a standard uh, cement powder measure. It has one large end and one small end. The mix should be carried out on a paper pad rather than on a glass slab because of the problem of the material being extremely sticky and difficult to clean from a glass uh, slab. In dispensing, we'll use one large measure and then add a second large cup. The mixing proportions for this material should be approximately one large cup per one drop uh, of powder, and then corresponding increments for uh, larger mixes. We'll set off to the side one small cup of powder for use in uh, after we've reached proper consistency. In areas where we would like to gain additional strength, we will add a few cotton fibers. Very few fibers are really needed to uh, gain that added strength. We'll set these fibers aside and come to them after we've reached consistency. The, in mixing, the large Tarno mixing spatula should be used, uh, the heavy one, in order to incorporate the powder as quickly as possible. In dispensing the liquid, the dropper should be held vertical and two drops placed out on the pad. Dispensing of the liquid should be the last procedure prior to initiation of the mix. In mixing, we'll add at least half of the bulk of powder initially. And mixing should be carried on with a folding action and in a very small area of the pad. The entire purpose of the mixing procedure is merely to wet the powder particles with the liquid. Add half of what remains and then the final amount. All powder particles should be wetted so that uh, no dry particles can be seen on the surface as you reach consistency. At this point, then, the, the uh, cotton fibers can be brought over and folded right into the mix. The entire fiber should be wetted with the material so that there is no chance for uh, small strands of fiber to be loose and collect moisture or saliva once the material is inserted. The material can then be brought together and the additional small scoop of powder brought over on the pad. This material can then be 
picked up with the fingers. Brought over and rolled out on the excess powder that's there. In order to facilitate placement of this material into the prepared cavity, we can use scissors to cut it into small increments. These smaller increments are now ready for insertion uh, into the prepared cavity. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.